good morning you guys I am just sitting in my car because I'm about to pop into the hair salon I have been waiting for this for a couple of months now to make up my mind about doing something a little bit different with my hair so I'm going back to the place that I went last time which is called the rumors are true in Newport here in Melbourne and I just love them so I thought I might take you guys along because I want to kind of get maybe like some curtain bangs cut and potentially go a little bit of a lighter color this time as well so we'll see what they come up with but I really love the owner there she is just so great at her job so I feel like I'm in really safe hands so let's get going because I'm a little bit late and I will show you after final result I absolutely love it I got some curtain bangs kind of put through the front so there is a little bit of layering here for me to play with if I like wanted to put my hair up like I sort of had it in my video the other day and I think that kind of adds a lot of dimension but also there are some really subtle highlights that have been put through as well as a beautiful all over color so they do have an amazing package at the rumors are true and it is especially for brunettes as well. So you will be well looked after if you kind of want to add a bit of dimension to your hair because I've always felt like having dark hair, my hair can look quite flat. So really, really beautiful, very, very happy. And the girls there are so lovely as well. They did give me a discount code, which is Emma25. And I'm going to link them in the description box down below and also over on my Instagram because I've done a reel as well. The salon also gave me these two items to take home from Knack Hair. So there's the thermal shield, which is to use on your hair obviously to heat protect it but also to keep it from having a lot of flyaways when there is some humidity and this one which is a replenishing cream to use after washing my hair so very excited for that and you can always drop in and have a chat to them because they have stock of the full knack range now I need to deal with all of this. I've got quite a pile of packages and deliveries. Many of these things are for user generated content or like UGC that I do across like TikTok and Instagram. So sometimes I don't actually post this. I just create things for the brands. And that is something I've really been loving doing because I absolutely love video content. Also stopped in and got some petrol because my car was flashing at me red and I had to go through the Burnley tunnel, which if you live in Melbourne, it is literally like entering the depths of the earth. Earth. It's like right under, I don't know, maybe it even goes under the Yarra, but it's like an extremely long kind of scary tunnel. And it's more scary if your petrol light is flashing at you. So that was on me for being a little bit disorganized and forgetting that I needed to fill up this morning. But now I am going to actually try on some items that I got in one of those parcels because I've been waiting for this to be delivered and it is some incredibly beautiful item. This is the parcel I was waiting for. It is from the Fibflix team and they have some absolutely stunning super soft cashmere pieces so i'm gonna go ahead and try those on now this gorgeous beige sweater is a blend of cashmere and wool so it's softer than 100 percent wool but more budget friendly than 100 percent cashmere it has a mock neck design and is the most beautiful fit it is a little bit chunky and slightly oversized which is absolutely perfect for tucking into a pair of pants or just wearing on any of those days where it is a little bit colder so that you can rug up and feel like you are really warm and cozy this beautiful mustard color long sleeve turtleneck top is 100% merino wool and you can absolutely feel the difference. It is so soft, silky and smooth and it is great for layering since it also has some thumb holds which is one of my favorite features in items of clothing. I think they are so cozy and comfortable. It's also seamless like the other products and super comfy to wear next to the skin. Next is this navy blue boat neck sweater. This one is 100% cashmere spun in one piece, so the sweater is seamless. This reduces waste in production and creates a better overall fit. I think this item is probably my favorite from the entire haul because it is just so incredibly soft. I don't think I own anything as soft as this, and I also love that the color is a little bit more versatile than just having sort of straight black items in an outfit. Lastly, we have this black hoodie, which is made 
from 100% merino wool. It's a more casual style since it is a hoodie and merino wool is great for exercising either indoors or outdoors since it's breathable and temperature regulating, which can keep you both warm or cool as you are heading home from the gym. So I absolutely love this and I'll definitely be wearing it on the chilly mornings to my workout. They are created by women for women and I really wanted to share these pieces with you all today because I just think they are such an incredible company, really high quality, beautiful pieces and something that I feel I can confidently recommend that you could add into your wardrobe. So if you're wanting to find out any more information about the pieces that I have tried on today, I'll leave all of my sizes and the links in the description box down below. Since I've been doing so much running around today, I haven't had time to organize anything for lunch. So I'm actually just gonna have one of these little Sirena tuna pasta things. And I think I might make a green smoothie as well. All right, I was gonna make a green juice as well. And then I thought about having another coffee or even a decaf or something, but I don't really think I want any of that because I'm actually quite full from that little pasta thing, which was surprisingly really nice. So I might actually end up buying those again because I reckon that would be really good just on a bed of rocket with a little bit of balsamic dressing or something as like a super easy lunch but I actually am gonna have um, some of this I found these in Woolworths the other day you guys know I love trying all of the random green juices in Woolies and this one is called the juice lab wellness digest and it's five shots of a gut health super shot thing so it's got apple cider vinegar acacia and wheatgrass but Although that sounds totally disgusting, I ordinarily wouldn't reach for something like that and the color is not great, but it actually has really been helping me with my bloating and it doesn't taste gross. I believe they must have mixed in a couple of other things with it, but I feel like I just wanted to share that because I get a lot of really bad bloating sometimes, particularly having like food allergies and things or I don't know, I just feel like maybe women's guts are a little bit more sensitive because I swear I see a lot of people chatting about having some bloating as well and not that there's any problem with that, but just if you were wanting to go to an event or wear a certain outfit or something and you were just feeling a little bit bloated, I would definitely recommend this because I feel like it has actually really been helping me. So I've got one bottle at home and one at work. I think you can only keep it open for a few days or something. Yeah, con consume within five days. So that's fine because you can kind of have it for a week. But just wanted to share that because I love finding little hacks like that. I'm actually wearing those $20 Kmart jeans I showed you guys in the vlog the other day. And I actually really love them. They're really, really comfortable and they fit me very well. So if you're ever looking for a pair of jeans, I would definitely recommend. I just realized why I feel a little bit naked. It's because I took all of my jewelry out for the hair before when I was getting like, my hair washed in the sink. So I'm just gonna pop that back in now. But I do have a couple of fun things to show you because like always, I am forever collecting new homewares and stuff. So I've got a couple more things for the kitchen and in particular, some little like pottery kind of items. And um, what else did I get? I actually got this really cute olive oil and balsamic kind of dispenser thing. And I just thought this looks so beautiful on the bench. You just kind of pour it in through either one of these little nozzles. And this was maybe like $12 or something from House Online. So I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. I just thought it was a more aesthetic kind of way to keep the olive oil and balsamic on my bench instead of in like the bottles from the supermarket. The other thing is if you remember me getting the fruit bowl that's behind me in one of the last vlogs, it was from this brand called Robert Gordon Pottery, which you can get at Maya, but I also just found their website instead. And this is another little item from there. It came very beautifully packaged and quite a lot of them were on clearance or on sale for some reason, which is great. So I actually got this little salt and pepper dish because I just want to start collecting like some really lovely minimal kind of objects for around my home. And I thought this one looked really nice. So I'll pop it out of the packaging and show you because I feel like it's those like those little ones they have at a cafe when it looks really, really beautiful. So it's just come in three pieces. So I'm just gonna slip the last bit out. So this is what I got. It is the cutest little salt and pepper container also in that speckled kind of white color. I wish they kind of continued that for the side parts, but I also don't mind that sort of raw beige pottery look. And it also came with the cutest little spoon that just sits in this top bit. So you put your salt and pepper in there and it also has a lid so you can pop that on top in case you want to kind of keep it a little bit cleaner in between when you've got it sitting out on table but I thought that was very sweet for breakfast and just a nice little thing to have on my bench 
Since I'm standing here as well, there is one last thing I did this week and that was go for a hydrafacial. So I don't know if any of you on here follow Lydia Elise Millen. She's a UK vlogger and she does a lot of fashion and beauty kind of stuff, but I really like watching her vlogs because I feel like it kind of transports me to the Cotswolds where she lives and it's really beautiful, picturesque English countryside. But anyway, she went and got these things called a hydrafacial and I didn't really know exactly what it was aside from just an ultra hydrating facial. And there is a clinic near me in um, Paran and it is called Missy Coco and they have um, hydrafacials on their menu. So I thought, why not? I'll book in. It wasn't the cheapest thing ever. I think it was like $190, but I just really wanted to have the experience because I've only ever had one facial before in my life. And it was when someone gave me a gift certificate for somewhere because I'm usually pretty low maintenance with that kind of stuff. Like I will definitely do skincare and things at home, but if it comes to like going to a spa or a wellness kind of place or a dermatologist or something. I just have never really invested in that kind of stuff, but I actually have, and maybe you might've noticed it before if you've seen um, my skin in any videos when I haven't done my makeup yet, but I've got like pigment, I guess, on like my cheeks and quite badly through my forehead. And I just thought that using like a normal vitamin C or whatever would kind of like fade it and make it go away. And perhaps it was just like some sun damage or something, but it has kind of getting a little bit worse lately. So I wanted to see someone about it, which is also why I wanted to book in because they do a little bit of a skin consultation and stuff. So I ended up chatting to her and she said also what my um, lip injector lady had said, cause she also sees me without makeup. And she said that I have melasma. So I'm sure some of you have heard of this or maybe you even have it as well, which is why I kind of wanted to show you the product I ended up buying. So I bought all of this with my own money. I'm not, none of this is sponsored or anything just to like kind of give you an idea. And I actually haven't started using this product at all yet. So I'm definitely not going to comment on whether or not it works, but it was just what was recommended to me. And I just thought it was quite <clears throat> expensive, but I just thought if it can actually really give me a good head start, this is supposed to be a six month supply. So maybe it will give me some changes and then I will consider repurchasing it. Or if it doesn't, then I could go ahead and chat to someone else about what might work. That would be a much more affordable option. But anyway, it was just kind of interesting. The hydrafacial was phenomenal. Like my skin is literally so soft and smooth and was like glow. I think it still is kind of glowing on camera, which is rare because my skin is so dry when it swaps seasons here in Melbourne. I don't know why, but my skin just absolutely goes insane when it goes from cold to hot really quickly. So I have been told to use this thing, which is called the IS Clinical Brightening Complex, some innovative skincare thing. It is a brightening, hydrating, antioxidant uh, cream and serum that safely and effectively brightens the appearance of a skin. So that's what I'm going to be trying. I'll try and show you. It's a little bit shiny, but that's the product. And I will try and like link it down below in case anyone is interested. There could be like multiple causes for why I'm getting melasma. It could be heat damage, sun damage, um, hormonal stuff. I am also on the pill. So like apparently that can bring it out in some people's skin. But anyway... That is that. And the last home update I have for you, which is something I think everyone should have is this new water filter jug. So again, something that I just bought with my own money, but I did used to have a water filter that like connected to the tap in my old place. But because this rental is a lot newer and nicer, I don't really want to be screwing around with the existing fixtures and fittings. So I personally would not want someone doing that in my home. So I just think I'm trying to have a really light touch and be very respectful of the owner's property. So I ended up getting this. It is from the brand, <laughs> I can't remember the brand and it's not on here. Oh, here we go, EcoBud Australia. So this one was the cheapest one I could get because honestly they were very, very expensive for just a water filter jug. You could literally just go to Woolworths and buy a Brita filter jug if you really wanted to, but I wanted something more aesthetic because obviously, you know, that's what I normally do. So this one has a gray lid on it and it is just the plastic version, but Jazz saw mine and he got jealous. So he went ahead and bought the white version with the glass container. So if you want to spend more on it and get something a little bit more sturdy, then you could go the glass option. But either way, it's got the filter inside of it. And then it has this little thing on top that like counts down for the days that the filter will last. So it says that I have 86 days left. So it's, um, you just press start when you pop the filter in and that's that. So the water just goes in through the top and then it drains out into this bottom container. So I'm pretty sure my jug is like 
1.5 liters or something. I do need to reshuffle my stuff in the fridge around so I can fit it in there. But yeah, that's probably it from me in terms of some home updates. So now I think I might go ahead and do some editing and things on my computer and then I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. include this in a vlog because I am not sure if I've mentioned it too often, but I started a podcast about a month ago and actually podcasting is what I tried to do first before I ever had a YouTube channel, but I just didn't really know what I wanted to talk about at the time. So I kind of parked it and ended up starting YouTube, which is such a blessing in disguise, but my podcast is called The Essentialist Podcast. This is what the little thumbnail looks like. And I do need to try and get like some professional photos done at some point, but I've put up eight episodes so far. So there is a little bit to go and listen to if you're searching for some content and you like podcasts. The topics are kind of lifestyle, thought provoking discussions about holistic living, finding your why. There is some organizational and mindset kind of stuff on there. And really just anything that I want to chat to you about in more of a long form. So so I would love for you to head over there and listen and thank you so much to everyone who already has and who's been leaving me reviews. It really means the world. I'm actually going to go and get a pedicure now because I got this red color when it was my friend's wedding because I was wearing an all black outfit and I just don't like it anymore. I'm a neutral girl. I always go for neutral colors and I just want to give it a change. So nice and fresh again. I just went with a really neutral nude color. It's a little bit later now and I've just put together some dinner. This is a pretty staple dinner that I'll eat, particularly since I am on the challenge. So I just have a piece of salmon, which I've put in a nice like salt and pepper kind of mix, some broccolini and some coconut rice. And then I might put a little bit of this lemongrass chili sauce on the side. I would usually maybe use like a little bit of Kewpie mayo, but I accidentally left mine at work. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'll probably kick back and watch some TV. I did a lot of running around today and a lot of content and editing and all sorts of things. So I am pretty tired and I've got to get up again at 5.30 in the morning so I can do my gym challenge. So I need to have a super early night and I really want to read a little bit of my book as well. So thank you guys for spending the day with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.